Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Vim Rock. I'm here in New York City, live at the Microsoft Preview. We're going to go inside and check out all the new sexy Microsoft product. We got the new Xbox 360 featuring the Kinect, you know, Project Natal. We got the new Windows 7 phone, some prototype things going on in there. And everything new for the holiday, man. I hope I can see some Windows 7 tablets in there. So follow me, man. people and you can see Liz there um, got all my people so I can easily go and find me? not really I just showed your picture Let's, I'll go get the other one and so you can check out this is you know my PSM so I can go and see what's happening across my social networks so for Xbox Live, it shows, it doesn't have it here yet, but it'll show all your games, um, show sort of what's new across your games, it shows your gamer tag and your associated um, points, and then if you want to do turn-by-turn -turn gaming, it will show the turn-by-turn -turn gaming as well. How complete is the OS? That's a very good question. And um, not done yet. So we're pre-alpha right now. And this, in my, I've been at Microsoft for nine years, and in my state of seeing various pieces of software, it's the best pre-alpha piece of software. The phone will be out by Christmas. Is this the same content? Uh, similar. We'll have to, we'll set one up for demo. What the background picture is, or does it just choose the last picture that you looked at? You can go here and say, you want to change the background. He's been on here like he's been me as a friend. So that's my tile because I updated my Facebook status today. That's updated. This is my daughter up in Alberta. And if you wanted and so it, has, it gives it kind of a nice effect. You can pull it up and there comes my profile. Yep, so let me go in to all. So here we'll go in. What about the email? What about the email? Is it like push email? You have to set it. No. Where it gets really cool. All coming. Yes. So you can set it however you expect. But if you're not in the world where that's in New York, you type in pizza. I see a microphone icon button there. Right? If you type in pizza, what it's going to do is 
with recognition, I presume. You know what? I was But you're not talking about that, are you? So it's based upon closest. So it shows local pizza. So let's go find Amadeus Pizza. We're gonna find directions from my location. So it goes up. It's really cool. So you can figure out. Um, it's still figuring out where it's going. There was a microphone. What else did I want to show? So one last thing is. Gmail icon. Yeah. So here, if I want to search for you know mail from Wall Street Journal, you can easily go in and just find all of the mail or all of the unread mail. So you see how easy it was just to search. Did you press the search button or? Yeah. So there's context for search. So now I can go in and I can tag some of these mail and hit. I want to mark those as read. So you see how you can actually triage your mail. Pretty easy to do. And then I don't have any urgent ones here. But again, very easy to. Up to your Windows Live account. What else does OneNote, the search box work in? So search works in people, in mail, and in marketplace. And then here, it's just if you're not in one of those contexts. Go to Bing. Yeah. And so Bing, if I typed in oil spill as an example. Or I can add a voice note. I press this button right now and I say, don't forget to read a little bit later about your grocery list. I can. I can add a so, odds are, unless there's been a huge oil spill here, it's actually just going to pull up news. So, it does this context um, return where it'll show specific news related to oil spills. So, the other one, pizza, shows local results, and this one here shows actual, it will show actual results. So, it shows news. So, you can get web, you can get local, or the news results. Or, you know, back here, so you can look at the is there anything special about Gmail support, like uh, labels or? The thing, so let me just go here for a second. I want to say no, well, no. I can add a comment there, or I can go on there and edit, uh, and I can highlight it. Is there an option to load mobile version, or desktop version, yeah. or web browser? Yeah. Really That's just a so cool. Is that option in the little pop-up menu down there? Or is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not that same experience. So this is a mobile version. So it has... Right now, we are coming out with new phones. The Wii is free, but... Does the minimum processor with anything? One gigahertz. Well, it's not necessarily the Snapdragon. Yeah, one gigahertz. So this is called... Uh, I don't think so. I'm not Rapid zoom experience? This is called subpixel positioning. So we have the ability to be able to do um, like very specific detail on the font. And so, you know, that's great for doing just a bunch of things. The other thing, kind of around, along those same lines, is our ability to be able to do super quick messaging. So if I wanted to respond to uh, this email here, I hit reply, I say reply, and now I want to say, you know, thanks for... Thank you. And so you're, but anyways, what it does is when we go and type in the text, the, the tap points get bigger, and so it's super easy um, to be able to type in like 40 words a minute on the phone. So I love that because like, you know you spend a lot of time triaging and texting and doing that kind of stuff. Right, right. When it saw the word that was spelled wrong, what was it supposed to do? If you tapped it, it would show your option. It's just um, to answer your question first. So when it saw, it was actually supposed to correct it, but it couldn't figure out what the heck I was doing because I was so wrong. So it actually had corrected a bunch of other words beforehand, and in that case, it's like, yeah, I have no idea. So Gmail, I've set up uh, Google Mail, and so we have you know the ability to go in and do the stuff that you would imagine. So with, from an email perspective, we support um, and, and messaging all up. Facebook, Windows Live, Exchange, Multiple Exchange, Multiple Exchange, Multiple Exchange, Yahoo. Facebook Mail? Uh, messages? No, Facebook is just the status updates, yeah. So these are, like when you go into people, this shows all of my people from Facebook, Windows Live, and Exchange, and then all of the what's new from Facebook, Windows Live, and Exchange, and then these are the recent people. So it's... I 
see on the kiosk behind me. Okay. Did you need help? Yeah. That looks different. I just want to make sure that... The kiosk behind me, I think, had the zoom panel being uh, two. It's going to be one. It's going to be one. Yeah, that was a change. Wait for it. change this is one. Oh, this is a 3G. I just put a new software on it. Oh, right, because I see the things changing. So this is a Zoom HD. It's just like a Zoom HD. You flip over, the artist's eye, HTC. Is it going to have RTJ, which I love? I can get sued. I don't know. Windows phone. Oh, looks like a phone, too. I think those will be a good one. I have a smart DJ on that right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she has two. I mean, so. I just didn't have time to set it up on this one. So this shows, you know, different content as well as uh, personal content that I put on. So these are videos from Windows Live Movie Maker. So I've created these personal videos that have music and stuff associated. And then this is, uh, of course, an album of the chipmunks for my kids. So I bought it off of Zoom Marketplace and then I can sync it across to many devices. You can absolutely you record with the phone will show up there? Yeah, and videos that you, actually videos that you record with the phone show up in the photo gallery because they're more like personal related, you want to okay. user generated content. So that's your search so, so so the tiles and the different tiles. Uh, no. You can add as many as you want. You see he asked me right there as a friend. So, the other thing is on yeah. podcasts, so we not only support audio podcasts, but the way that the audio, audio podcasts are supported is once you set up your, you know, I want this podcast to come across, when you plug it into AC power, it'll come across through Wi-Fi, so now you don't have to actually bother with syncing and stuff anymore. You just plug it into your charger, and then it syncs across on the wireless network. So here is... Can you do it manually if you don't have your charger? Yeah. That's actually how I got these ones set up. It's just, it was easier for a one-time thing. But in the, when I, because I flash my phone every day, so there's, you know, it's a little bit harder to set up the Wi-Fi thing. But once I finally actually have a phone that I don't flash every day, and so this has just a bunch of different content that's on it. That's video podcasts as well. Let's maps didn't work, right? Let's try maps again. So. Oh, that's interesting. So then I say that load. It uses this. That part first. Uh, because I click next, next, next. So it uses Sea Dragon to go and get the actual data. So when I go and I zoom in, you'll see ultimately that it's actually going to pull up. It's going and getting the data right now. Ultimately, it's going to go and actually get these tiles and bring them in and show the actual street view. Not the street view, but the aerial view. And so, like, depending on where you're going for me, you know, if it's a parking lot and I want to find out where to park or where the soccer game is going to be, that kind of stuff, that stuff will come up as well. But when you were zoomed out, some of it was blurry and some of it was sharp. Is that because you cached that beforehand? Yeah. Yeah, for some reason I was there before. So it caches actually quite a bit. Pretty soon Third Ave will come, Ave will come in. <laughs> okay. So this one is find directions and this one is show me where I'm at. So that zooms over to show me exactly where I'm at. And then if I want to say show my traffic, it goes out, gets the traffic layer, puts the traffic layer over top, and then I can also hide or hang on. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to show traffic and then clear map. And so it'll clear the directions that I had there with the traffic on the map. You see how it's just like this natural flowing thing. So when I flew into Newark, I was like, all right, should I take the train or should I take a car? And typically, you know, we take a car, it's just easier and you can do all sorts of stuff. But I looked at the traffic and you see how it's red there? It was black in Newark yesterday. And so I said, screw it, I'm not gonna, there's no way I can take another car. And so I hopped on the train. It's like, it's so easy because it showed me the directions and navigationally where I was going. So this, I love the traffic. Because even in Seattle, traffic is well, absolutely massive. Doesn't that have street view too? Yeah, so that's what I was showing. So it's just slow right now because of the network, but uh, when we zoom into here. To the Word document. No, that's still satellite view. But it will have, uh, not street view, but the aerial view. So you can see like the parking lot across the street and see how it's coming in there. So that's actually showing, you know, the physical tiles coming down from big. Uh, it's still not. Have you shown it to a person house, like in your contact list? Yeah. So if they have, oh, you have to go to contact. So that's. But it's kind of a, it's a natural thing. You like click on a person's contact. You're like, oh, they publish their address. You bang on the house. So I don't know. Well, that's the phone. What do you think of the phone? Oh, good. Okay, right. So we have an 